January 2025 will be etched in the memory of Californians as a time of fear and destruction. Wildfires, fueled by a dangerous combination of natural and man-made factors, tore through the state, leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. From the iconic hills of Los Angeles to the scenic Malibu coastline, flames consumed homes, businesses, and lives, painting a grim picture against the backdrop of a typically tranquil winter month. The disaster served as a stark reminder of the increasing vulnerability of our communities to the growing threat of wildfires. The fires erupted with a ferocity that shocked even seasoned firefighters, spreading at an alarming rate and overwhelming initial containment efforts. Dense smoke choked the skies, turning day into night and creating hazardous air quality for millions. The eerie orange glow of the flames became a haunting symbol of the crisis, casting long shadows of uncertainty over the affected communities. As the fires raged on, a sense of urgency and fear gripped the region prompting mass evacuations and leaving many to grapple with the loss of their homes and livelihoods. Multiple fires erupted across the state, each leaving its own mark of destruction. The Palisades Fire, aptly named for its assault on the affluent Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles, consumed over 21,000 acres. Homes, including those of celebrities, were reduced to ash, and iconic landmarks were damaged beyond recognition. The fire's unpredictable behavior characterized by fire whirls, spinning vortexes of flame, and the reckless interference of unauthorized drones hampered firefighting efforts, amplifying the sense of chaos and fear. North of Los Angeles, the Eaton Fire wreaked havoc in the communities of Altadena and Pasadena, scorching over 14,000 acres. The fire's relentless advance resulted in significant structural damage and tragically claimed the lives of five individuals. Other fires, though smaller in scale, added to the statewide emergency. The Kenneth Fire near the LA Ventura County border, the Hearst Fire in Silmar, and the Lydia Fire in Acton, each demanded resources and tested the resilience of firefighters already stretched thin by the widespread disaster. The Malibu coastline, known for its beauty and celebrity residents, was devastated, with famous restaurants and landmarks reduced to smoldering ruins. The devastating wildfires were not solely the result of any single factor, but rather a confluence of events that created a perfect storm for disaster. California, already grappling with a years-long drought of unprecedented severity, faced tinder-dry conditions that turned vegetation into highly flammable fuel. This susceptibility was exacerbated by a phenomenon known as weather whiplash, a period of heavy rains followed by record-breaking high temperatures, rapidly drying out the landscape and priming it for ignition. Adding fuel to the fire, literally, were the notorious Santa Ana winds. These powerful dry winds, originating in the Great Basin and Mojave Desert, roared through the region, fanning the flames and driving the fires across the landscape with terrifying speed. Some gusts reached an astonishing 100 miles per hour, rendering traditional firefighting techniques virtually useless. Adding to this volatile mix were anomalies in the jet stream, the high-altitude air currents that influence weather patterns. These unusual patterns contributed to the severity and duration of the high winds and dry conditions, further exacerbating the fire risk. The human and economic toll of the 2025 California wildfires was staggering. At least 11 lives were tragically cut short by the flames, each loss leaving behind a void in families and communities. The fires inflicted extensive damage to property, with estimates suggesting that over 12,000 structures were damaged or destroyed, displacing tens of thousands of residents. The economic impact was equally devastating, with preliminary estimates placing the cost of the disaster between $52 billion and $57 billion, a stark reminder of the vulnerability of our infrastructure and economy to such catastrophic events. The fires triggered mass evacuations, forcing over 150,000 people to flee their homes in search of safety. Highways became choked with traffic as residents desperately tried to outrun the approaching flames. The influx of evacuees overwhelmed shelters and hotels in surrounding counties, creating a humanitarian crisis on top of the environmental disaster. The fires left an indelible mark on the landscape, transforming once vibrant communities into ash-covered ghost towns. The scars of the disaster, both physical and emotional, will continue to impact the lives of Californians for years to come.
In the face of unprecedented devastation, government agencies and communities rallied to confront the crisis. Los Angeles County declared a state of emergency, mobilizing resources and coordinating relief efforts. Governor Newsom invited President-elect Trump to survey the damage, a symbolic gesture emphasizing the need for a unified response to the disaster. The insurance industry, recognizing the widespread impact of the fires, enacted a moratorium on policy cancellations in the affected areas, providing a much-needed safety net for homeowners facing unimaginable losses. Despite the swift response, the scale of the disaster exposed vulnerabilities in emergency preparedness and highlighted the need for increased investment in fire prevention and response capabilities. Reports of budget cuts to the Los Angeles Fire Department just months before the fires raised questions about the allocation of resources and the prioritization of fire safety. The fires also underscored the critical importance of community preparedness, with neighbors helping neighbors evacuate and providing support to those who had lost their homes. Hash Hash Section 6, Voices from the Ashes, Personal Stories of Loss and Resilience. Behind the statistics and news reports are the heart-wrenching stories of those directly impacted by the fires. Actor Milo Ventimiglia, known for his role in the television series This Is Us, lost his home in the Palisades fire, a stark reminder that the disaster did not discriminate. The Eaton fire claimed the lives of 82-year-old Rodney Nickerson and 66-year-old Victor Shaw, their stories highlighting the human cost of the tragedy. Barbara Bruderlin, a resident of Malibu, described the scene as complete devastation, her words painting a vivid picture of the widespread destruction. These personal accounts serve as a powerful reminder of the human toll exacted by the fires. They highlight the loss of irreplaceable memories, the displacement from cherished homes, and the long road to recovery that lies ahead for so many. Yet, amidst the devastation, stories of resilience and compassion emerged. Neighbors risked their lives to save others, volunteers flocked to aid in relief efforts, and communities came together to support those who had lost everything. Hash Hash Section 7, Combating the Flames of Misinformation As with any major news event, the 2025 California wildfires became a breeding ground for misinformation. Social media platforms often used for sharing updates and coordinating aid, were also exploited to spread false narratives and conspiracy theories. Hoaxes about the origins of the fires, the extent of the damage, and even the existence of certain victims circulated widely, adding to the confusion and anxiety of an already traumatized population. The spread of misinformation during a crisis can have dangerous consequences, hindering relief efforts, inciting panic, and eroding trust in official sources of information. It is crucial to rely on verified information from reputable news outlets, government agencies, and emergency response organizations. Critical thinking and source verification are essential for navigating the digital landscape during times of crisis, ensuring that we are not misled by false narratives and can access accurate information to make informed decisions. Hash Hash Section 8, Winter's Wrath, The Unsettling Reality of Off-Season Wildfires The 2025 California wildfires shattered the misconception that these disasters are solely a summertime threat. The fires fueled by unusual winter conditions spread with a speed and ferocity that caught many off guard. The exceptional drought, amplified by weather whiplash and driven by anomalous jet stream patterns, created a tinderbox-like environment that rendered traditional wildfire seasons obsolete. This unsettling trend underscores the urgent need to adapt our understanding and response to wildfires in a changing climate. The traditional fire season, once a predictable period of heightened risk, is becoming increasingly irrelevant as the combination of climate change and other factors creates the potential for catastrophic fires year-round. This shift demands a proactive approach to fire prevention, preparedness, and response, ensuring that communities are equipped to face the growing threat of wildfires regardless of the season. Hash Hash, Section 9. Scars on the Landscape, Lessons for the Future. The 2025 California wildfires left an indelible mark on the landscape and psyche of the Golden State. The scars of the disaster, both physical and emotional, will linger for years to come, serving as a stark reminder of the destructive power of nature and the urgent need to address the factors that contribute to these catastrophic events. The fires exposed vulnerabilities in our infrastructure, highlighted the importance of community preparedness, 
and underscored the need for a coordinated and adequately funded response to natural disasters. But amidst the devastation, there is hope. The resilience of the human spirit shines through in the face of adversity, as communities come together to rebuild and recover. The lessons learned from this disaster will shape future policy decisions, inform fire prevention strategies, and strengthen our resolve to mitigate the risks posed by wildfires. The road to recovery will be long and arduous, but by learning from the past and adapting to the changing realities of our environment, we can work towards a future where communities are more resilient and better equipped to withstand the threat of wildfires.